up YouTube is Bussy and you're coming at you with another deck deck. This time we're going back to Magic the Gathering and there's been a lot of hype recently around this deck. Well definitely in um, in January I would say and December as well. Pauper has come back, uh, you know, it's a format where you can basically only play commons. Um, it's got a very uh, unique play style to it. It's very different from what you would normally see in like vintage or modern but a lot of people describe it as legacy-esque like gameplay and um, I've always been drawn towards pauper because the thing is that you can build very uh, cheap decks you know when you play pauper and um, and uh, recently I've been experimenting with with a few decks and uh, and I've built myself uh, basically a white heroic deck which has been hyped, like I said, in the previous months, it's been on, I think it's been, it's definitely been reviewed by the professor, two different types as well of the of the deck, um, and it's been reviewed on Channel Fireball, it's been reviewed on all on the major channels, but uh, I thought that I'm going to show off the, the actual paper cards, because, you know, all these uh, programs, they all show it to you in MTGO or, or in um, PowerPoint format or whatever it is. And I like to bring the, the actual cards to you guys. That's that's the whole point. That's why I do this. So without any further ado, I'm actually going to jump into my uh, um, white, mono-white, heroic, pulper deck tech here. And before uh, before I really get into it, I just want to explain that the, one of the reasons why I was really drawn to this deck uh, was the fact that I have had a a, a Theros um, a Theros set uh, standard legal deck that was already based around heroic. So I've played with the mechanics before, and I've always liked the mechanics. Uh, it was a budget deck for when that standard was out, uh, but it was very easy for me to just bring a lot of the cards over to this deck and and just build it out. And when I played this a couple of weeks ago, it is very powerful. It's just as powerful as you would imagine. Um, so, you know, if, if you have the chance, if, if you can play Pauper with your friends, definitely give this deck a spin because it's very cheap, like every other Pauper deck, and it's an absolute blast to play it. Right, so let's get into it, shall we? Okay, um, so, first of all, um, we start out with the, uh, with the creatures, and we got, of course, your, uh, staple, uh, four copies of the Laguna Band Trailblazer, uh, Obviously, it's a, it's a it's a staple for this deck. You want your one drop to be as effective as possible. Obviously, he's got a very big butt. Can't attack on its own, but he's got the heroic ability, so you can you can bring him into play, uh, and then start pumping him immediately. And then, Akron Skyguard is the other heroic creature of the deck. Of course, a playset of, of full four of. Um, Cost generic and a white. He's got flying. Is a one one, and of course he's got the heroic ability. The, the flying ability is very very useful to have. Obviously in the game to be able to fly over your opponent, it can be uh, it can be very useful. Of course. Um, now seeker of the ways is one of those cards that um, was an uncommon up until recently. Uh, as you can see here, the um, when it was released in Cons of Tarkir. Uh, it was um, still a, an uncommon card. But recently, in Iconic Masters, this card got downgraded into common, which has it was one of the main reasons why this deck has just exploded. Seeker of the Way um, does a very good uh, thing in basically imitating heroic with his prowess ability and the fact that he gets uh, lifelink as well. If you cast a non creature spell, He's just, um, he's probably one of the best cards in the deck, to be honest. Um, he can certainly win you a few games, or actually even get you back if, if you get into any problems. Um, in terms of, you know, being able to regain life for you with the lifelink ability. Now this is a tech choice of mine. Uh, I run, uh, for my last uh, creature slot here, I run four Hopeful Eidolons. Uh, a lot of people run the sacred sacred cat or whatever it is, the one that you can embalm basically, just because against the edict effects, it's it's a very good card to have. But um, I run four cartouche in here, 
And when I was uh, when I was playtesting this deck, I, I've seen like you can already have an abundance of creatures left in your hand. So I think having Hopeful Eidolon in a late game, you can bestow this uh, card and just you know give plus one plus one and lifelink. But on its own, it can come down first turn. It it has lifelink on its own, and it's an enchantment creature. So obviously, we play four copies of um, Ethereal Armor. So you can actually get to the point where you swing in for like seven or eight in your second turn if you play your hopeful idol on, uh, play a hyena umbra, play um, play uh, an ethereal armor, uh, then you got you hitting for about six, yeah. So uh, so very effective in my opinion. Of course, um, of course you can you can always uh, you know use other cards, but I, I think this is an interesting one. You know just to. Um, just to touch on and, and try out the game with Hyena Umbra, uh, being obviously a staple. Um, if any of you have played the Boggles decks before, um, it's it's a mainstay in that deck as well. Um, it's an aura, gives first strike plus one plus one, and it's a total armor, which is very important. If your creature would be uh, bolted or, or removed, like destroyed in any other way, then you can just sacrifice the totem armor of your creature and you actually uh, manage to um, save your creature. And then this is what I mentioned, Cartouche of Solidarity. It's a very, very similar card to Hyena Umbra in terms of uh, uh, giving plus one, plus one and first strike. However, instead of being a totem armor, it actually gets you a warrior token uh, with Vigilance. So every time you play your Cartouche, you end up having an additional creature, um, which then you can either suit up with Auras or just Chum Block with. But the fact that it's got Vigilance is actually quite useful. I've, um, I have I have suited up. Um, one of these warriors, I actually have four uh, tokens here, um, just to show you guys. Um, you can suit up one of these guys, um, obviously you run the risk with any of the other creatures as well that it gets, um, you know, um, removed, but, you know, this isn't a Boggles deck, so, so that can happen. But to get around that, we play a lot of um, protection spells. So, um, uh, definitely uh, very useful, and this is the only two drop, uh, two cost uh, aura in the deck is Chumano's Blessing from the uh, Mercadian Mask set. Um, you basically can drop it anytime you could drop an instant, and um, it gives protection from the color of your choice until this card is, is, is on the creature. So it's very effective, it can be a very good surprise. And the fact that it just being an instant spell uh, aura can already su surprise your opponent when you play it onto a heroic creature. Um, if, if you like, if they're like, you know, if they're hitting you for like five uh, um, or six, you can drop it down if, if you have a few counters on your, I don't know, your, your Laguna Band Trailblazer, you already have like, he's like a, a six, but you want to save him, you just drop this uh, and then maybe call the color, or if you don't want to call the color, you want to call a different color, you can do that as well. But there's a lot of battle tricks that you can do with uh, the blessing, so it's definitely it's definitely worth spending that two mana uh, to bring him down. And then the Big Daddy Ethereal Armor, uh, in my opinion, definitely one of the best uh, auras ever printed. It is just absolutely crazy what it does, obviously in the right build. But for one mana, um, you know, at worst, it gives you plus one, plus one and the first strike ability. Uh, at best, uh, well, God knows, uh, where'd you stop with this card? Um, this is one of the reasons why why we run the Eidolon, the Hopeful Eidolon, to be able to abuse that ability, to be able to bring onto the board a uh, five six power by turn two and just uh just be very difficult to to deal with right this is it for the auras and now into instants uh one of the most nasty cards uh printed that is currently legal in pulper is mutagenic growth um obviously i don't run any green mana as you're gonna see at the end when i get to the mana cost or the mana cards that i run the basics uh, and stuff, um, but if you drop this onto a heroic creature for two life, you basically give them plus three, plus three, uh, and plus one, plus one of that will be in counter form. So, so you get to um, just surprise your opponent. 
um, and of course if you have a seeker on the, of the way down on the battlefield then you pump him as well with the mutagenic growth so it is definitely one of the best instants in this deck I believe and it is definitely a staple for uh, this kind of deck style uh, and then I run for Defiant Strike um, mainly for the draw card ability uh, I just want to be able to at least have a few cards in the deck that uh, can trip um, I think it's very important to have at least a, a degree of um, card selection even if not very high even if it's only uh, six cards really I'm gonna get to the other two in a second but the final strike is is not a bad card um, plus one plus so until end of turn for one mana obviously if you drop it on the herald creature or a creature is gonna trigger but you get the draw card effect as well very important and then Another two protection cards uh, emerge on Scathe, uh, and this is this is a very good one as well. Um, you basically drop it for one mana, one white mana, uh, gain, you know, grants protection from any color, and then he, it rebounds. Uh, uh, so you basically um, exile it when you play it, and then the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast it for free. Out of exile so for one mana you basically get two heroic activations and you can grant protection twice to your creature which I think is pretty good I would probably run more of these but uh, uh, it's definitely another two has a, has a space in the sideboard um, a one-off double cleave uh, just to be able to uh, go crazy it gives you that uh, that element of surprise if uh, because it is possible to pull off a turn 3 kill with this deck um, but you need double play for it I run only one at the moment and I never actually drawn into it when I was testing with the deck but um, yeah you can obviously understand its power uh, it can be very good so the other two cards the secluded steps which you can cycle to draw a card uh, these and the defiant strikes give you six cards they give you a very very small level of uh, uh, can trip ability with the deck where you basically have to rely on pretty much what you draw uh, you know in your opening seven and then throughout the game so you want to ensure that you get at least a couple of creatures in your opening hand uh, a couple of um, auras a few lands and maybe an instant or something that would sort of be the ideal starting seven I would say and then we run uh, 19 planes so we go one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I'm oh, sorry I was wrong, 15 only, 15 plus 2 steps, which gives you 19 lands, I don't know why I had uh, 19, well, 19 is the overall land counts in the deck, so so that's it, um, it's a very cool, very nifty little deck, um, very cheap to build, um, it's great fun to play with as well, um, it's game style, uh, Reminds me of Boggles uh, very much indeed actually, you know, just dropping those auras onto your creatures and, and make sure that you attack as often as you can. If you have to go defensive then you obviously got your uh, protection cards, but um, I think the best way with this deck is just go, go and attack as, as, many, as many turns as you can until you, you beat your opponent. <laughs> it's just it's just very simple uh, but it's a nice little deck I certainly have enjoyed playing with it and I hope uh, that you will you guys will give it a spin as well if you have the opportunity for it right I'm gonna keep it short and sweet uh, so thank you very much for watching uh, boss Sandy signing out if you like this video don't forget to like uh, and then you can share it you can you can subscribe you can comment down below I always answer um, so yeah uh, peace out